Now it's time to look at the patterns and textures that we have available inside of Fireworks. So I'm going to create just a brand new Fireworks document. And I'm going to use my 500 by 500. And I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to come over to my vector section of tools and I'm just going to grab just a regular rectangle. Doesn't really matter what color I'm choosing at the moment. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now I would like another rectangle over to the side. So all I'm going to do is hold down my Alt or Option key. And when I start to drag, now I have a copy. And if I hold down my Shift key as well, I can keep it constrained. So now this very first box over here, we're going to take a look at our textures. So I've got my textures in my Property Inspector. And I can choose everything from a crosshatch to a diagonal to mesh and even a wood texture. So this is just a texture though and it's going to retain the color of the original vector object. Now I've got an other section down here at the very bottom so if I have some other textures out on my machine somewhere, I'm able to import those and use those as well. So I'm just going to choose one here, let's say my vertical line for instance. So right next to where I chose that particular texture at, I have an amount of that texture. So I can choose all the way up from 100% down to next to nothing and I have just a little bit of a texture in that file. This can really set your document off. So if I am trying to make my own button for instance for a website, I can add a nice little texture for that particular button or I can make a texture, a repeating pattern for maybe the background of a website. And I can have a transparency in that as well. So our next rectangle over here, let's take a look at our patterns. Now our patterns are found underneath the same spot that we found our gradients. So if I click on where it says solid, I have my options for my patterns. Now the patterns are going to totally take over the color of this particular vector shape that we have. So for instance, if I chose my metal here, that I've got a center point and it looks a little bit like my gradient. So what I'm able to do with this is I'm able to scale it. So I'm scaling my pattern both vertically and horizontally. Some of the patterns will obviously scale better than others. So I've got lots of other patterns here. I've got tweeds and different wood patterns. And I'm able to also rotate those as well. So depending on what you need, being able to choose between our patterns and our textures, we can make our documents look quite unique. 